warm and sunny Southern California Sunday afternoon. The setting for this MLS finale as the earthquakes wrap up the 2014 campaign against Chivas USA here at the StubHub Center. It's the same 4-1-4-1 formation that played, I think, okay against uh, Vancouver. Sam Cronin has a very important job to protect the back four. Four's been moved around a little bit, and I think the Quakes can have some joy against this back four. Nigel Rio Coke, the very experienced British player, will be in the midfield, but it's that guy up front, Eric Cubo Torres, the Mexican international, that catches the eye. With the blue shorts, and we are underway on this the season finale of the 2014 campaign for the Earthquakes and Chivas USA. A beautiful Sunday afternoon here at the Stub Hub Center. Pereira right around Pintos. Enters the 18. There's a drive. Another shot off the post. And that was Torres. They nearly found the back of the net by a diving John Bush. Well, it talks about the speed of Barrera, and he showed it twice there. First time he took on Victor Bernardes after he got behind Pintos. Second one, he took on Pintos again, and too easy for me. He's getting past Pablo Pintos in that situation, and what a great opportunity. You can see here the speed of Leonardo Barrera just getting behind Pablo Pintos, and the second opportunity is a great foot save by John Bush. He's two away from the record. And was able to steer that one off the post and out. He's got Bora in front of him. But opts for Eric Torres in the corner. Goes right by Victor Bernardes. Torres enters the six. Chips off the post and knocked in. Felix Borja. Third goal of the year, and Chivas takes the lead. Cuba Torres well involved in everything that comes good from Chivas, but also also is Leonardo Barrera because it was him that broke away early and fed Torres wide on the left-hand side. After that, it all became all Torres where he sort of put the ball through Victor Bernardes' leg and went along that end line. And when the ball came back off the post, it was right there for Felix Bohr to clean it up and put in the back of the net for 1-0 to Chivas. Even at that angle for Eric Torres to find a post, was a feat in itself, but Chivas takes the lead. And San Jose will look to regroup and get the equalizer before intermission. As Cordell Cato steps in front. Looking for Wondolowski. There's the header. And just off target to the right of Kennedy. That might be the best opportunity the Quakes have had this match. And Ian Wilson looking up at Genius straight away. First interaction there from Cordell. Cordell Cato to step in front of Barrera and win one, and then go straight at uh, this Chivas defense and put a decent ball in for Wondolowski. It wasn't a bad effort by Wondo, and he nearly got it onto the target, but straight away you see the difference and a little bit of speed. Why not test? Absolutely. I think they're there to be tested. I mean, Gary Stevenson redirecting that one. There's a shot, and Yannick Jallo may have been clipped going in for that strike. Nevertheless, it goes out, and Chivas will have the possession. Well, everything about the start of this second half is so much better by the Earthquakes. Getting into dangerous areas, getting balls into dangerous areas, uh, putting pressure onto the back four, getting that Bobby Burning, getting that at Danny Toya. That's what the Earthquakes need to do. Generate a lot more energy, get the tempo of this game going a little bit higher, and if nothing's on, maybe just knock it behind a Danny Toya, knock it behind a Bobby Burning, and let Wondolowski and Jello chase it. Kaji cut back. Barrera. On his left foot, a chipped ball. Torres steering it right to John Bush. It's almost as if Bush knew it was coming. Yeah, Barrera's come all the way across though to try and get involved in the game. Just to get on the ball. He hasn't touched it much in the second half. And it's a nice little dink pass into a space that Torres can attack. Easy pickings for Bush. Three blasts on the whistle. And the 2014 campaign comes to an end for both of these sides with a 1-0 Chivas win on a Felix Borja goal in the first half.